to American Truck Simulator. My name is Moo78, and this is my American Truck Sim Let's Play series. I upload this twice a week. Hope you guys are doing well today, by the way. We are still in the Peterbilt 389. Uh, this is my second run with it. Uh, changed up the skin. Uh, this is one by Pauly that's out on the Steam Workshop. Great looking skin, nice metallic skin. Uh, we are pulling the Fontaine, blah, 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 the Fontaine Phantom today. Got a load of pipe going up to Carson City, Nevada. 51,000 pounds going over Classroom Sons. But uh, good news, bad news today. And we'll go over the good news first. And that is that at least I have a backup steering wheel. Albeit it's just a uh, pretty basic Logitech Momo. Um, bad news is the G27 went to Rip City. Now we'll go ahead and get started here. And you'll see I'm using an automatic transition. That's because I'm using the Momo and uh, the only shift functionality that it has is up and down. No eight shifter, nothing like that. Does not handle nearly as good, does not steer nearly as well as uh, the G27 does. But uh, got done recording, you know, and playing Thursday, you know, tore everything down like I always do, you know, that way I can use my desk and all that good stuff. And I don't have my key binding set up on this yet, so I just have to kind of work through that today, but, uh, you know, took everything down, you know, like I always do. Then uh, Friday night went to hook everything back up because I was going to do some uh, you know multiplayer with the guys and I was going to you know record that and get that uploaded. So I was pretty excited about that because uh, we've been talking about doing that for a little while. And of course, the track IR is bugging out today as well. You know why not? But uh, you know I was getting everything set up and uh, got everything plugged in and. You know, the G27 was just not responding at all. Nothing. So I'm like, huh, that's, you know, strange. I've never really had that problem before. So I was doing some troubleshooting and whatnot, and I'll link the site down below that, uh, you know, had the best information. You know, if anyone else is on, you know, Windows 10 or whatever, gosh, that is going to be annoying. But, uh, you know, if you're having issues with your, you know, G27 or any of your G controller wheels uh, from Logitech not responding, there's a lot of really useful and good information in this uh, article. But, uh, unfortunately, you know, it didn't work, you know, for my wheel because I'm pretty sure it's just straight up dead. So, you know, I uninstall the drivers, reinstall the drivers, you know, several times over, clean the registry. Make sure you know there were no you know remnants left over. Did a system restore as you know kind of a last ditch effort and nothing. So I tried it on my other my uh, work computer that I uh, also edit on and nothing. Just was not responding at all. You know the Logitech profiler was not recognizing it. So it is pretty much you know dead. So for the interim, I'm going to be using the Momo, which kind of stinks because, you know, the G27 is such a good wheel. And, uh, you know, it stinks for a few reasons. Sorry about the, the track IR. I'm not sure what's going on with that, why that's bugging out. But, uh, like I said, we'll just work through that. we got to work through a couple things today. But uh, it really stinks about the G27 because, you know, I can't use my SKRS now. Man, that is... Annoying as all get out. But, uh, you know, I can't use the SKRS shifter now because, you know, the Momo basically has no shift functionality whatsoever anyway, other than up or down. You know, it's not an eight shifter or anything like that. It doesn't, you know, the pedals don't even have a clutch. It's just accelerator and brake. So... There's that, man, that is really, really, really annoying. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, I've created a support ticket with Logitech to see if there's 
anything, you know, it can be done. You know, I doubt it's something I'm going to be able to do, uh, like a return on and uh, get a replacement wheel. Because I bought this wheel. You know, uh, refurbished from uh, Amazon. Why is that doing that? But, uh, yeah, and I reached out to the seller that uh, I bought it from on Amazon, and, you know, they suggested that I get a hold of Logitech, but I uh, really doubt there was anything that can be done. I, you know, I'm all but certain that, it's, you know, it's not under warranty or anything like that. And I might just have to pause the game and uh, turn off track IR altogether or something. But it's uh, kind of frustrating because, you know, it may or may not, I don't know, but uh, I think it's definitely going to, you know, maybe it won't. But uh, I think it definitely helped the content quite a bit having the G27 because, you know, it made it a little bit more realistic. No doubt about it. You know, being able to actually shift and all that stuff. And, of course, the SKRS kind of took that up another level. And, uh, you know, that last episode, you go back and watch it, man. SKRS was working the way it was supposed to. No issues. No misshifts. Nothing. So I finally got that thing fixed. Or so I think. You know, I won't be able to tell for a while now. But, uh... I was really bummed out about it, you know, because I go back and watch the last episode, and it was, you know, a pretty good episode. You know, no issues, no technical issues. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of where all that is right now. But like I said, I've, you know, reached out to Logitech to, you know, see what my options, if there are any available at all, are. And, uh, you know, ideally, I want to, if I can, you know, get the G27 fixed, if that's even an option, because I would imagine that's going to be the lesser of the two. You know, that's going to be the cheaper, you know, option. It's going to be the lesser of the two evils. You know, it shouldn't cost, I wouldn't think, if it, like I said, it even can be fixed. I have no idea, you know, what could be wrong with it. But if it can be repaired, that is the route that I'd like to go down. But uh, if it cannot be fixed, then I'm uh, going to have to upgrade the wheel, get a different wheel, which, you know... That's, you know, me personally, that's one of the reasons why I hate buying uh, used hardware is because a situation is just like this. If something goes wrong, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do other than, you know, just replace it with either another used wheel or just a brand new wheel, which is probably the route I'm going to go down, just get a brand new wheel altogether. I was looking at them on Logitech's site last night, probably going to go with something like the G920. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's one of the things about sim hardware is it is not a cheap hobby to get into. So, you know, this couldn't really come at a worse time uh, with the holidays coming up and everything like that. So it might not be until uh, early next year before I can uh, get this wheel replaced. Cruise control is set here. And uh, sorry if I'm kind of rambling or kind of ranting today. It's just... Uh, kind of where I'm at, so I apologize for that, apologize if I'm not upbeat as I normally am, but, uh, you know, I am thankful to have uh, the Momo, so I can at least, you know, still, still drive halfway decent, you know, I know I'm not the best driver in the game, but, uh, you know, the G27 definitely helps, and it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment period, getting used to, uh, going back to an automatic transmission, which I absolutely just hate doing and uh, getting used to uh, the Momo. But we will work through it, and uh, everything will be okay. I, mean, I don't think the world's going to stop spinning or anything like that. But uh, today's episode might be a little bit shorter. Kind of 
rushing last minute to get this uh, done and get this out uh, yet today, uh, Tuesday, election day in the USA. Hopefully, if you are able to vote, you have went out and exercised that right. I did that earlier today. It's always a good feeling when you go out and uh, purchase. I can't talk today. Yeah. It's always a good feeling when you can go out and participate in elections, but especially, you know, a president, presidential election, so you can't talk. And especially one that is this important. So, probably by the time uh, this video goes live, the polls will be closed and all that good stuff, and uh, yeah. It's just weird driving an automatic, though, dadgum really love all the shifting and stuff like that and especially it sounds like uh you know at least you know with their vague vagueness their vaggy mcvagueness ses makes it sound like we could be getting a uh, beta of the map rescale you know pretty soon you know i'm definitely still excited about that but uh man it'd be awesome to be able to you know have my normal hardware to uh, experience that. And, you know, like I said, the world's gonna keep on turning and uh, we'll get through it, we'll work through it and uh, everything will be okay. As long as, you know, the track IR doesn't crap out on me now. No idea why that is doing that today. I apologize for all the technical difficulties here today, guys, but I still wanted to get a video out, let you, know, let you guys know what's going on, what's up and all that good stuff. Got the first couple of videos of my LSPDFR series up. Seems like that is doing pretty well. Seems like you guys are liking that. So thank you for the support on that. Going to be working on the third episode tomorrow. Going to be in the Richmond, Richmond Glen area. So that should be a lot of fun. Going to be, uh, I believe it's going to be in the LS uh, PD Dodge Charger. So that'll be a lot of fun. Maybe we can get into uh, some pursuits and stuff like that in the Charger. That thing can get up and go. I'll turn the lights on. And then I kind of... I'm kind of on the fence about uh, getting the Battlefield 1 campaign playthrough up and going again. Uh, interest was kind of, nah, which is fine, which is fine, you know. I don't have to upload every single game that I play or anything like that, so... Wasn't a whole lot of interest on the Battlefield 1 campaign, excuse me, campaign uh, playthrough. But, uh, I finished up the Titanfall 2 single-player campaign last night, and man, that was pretty awesome very very impressed with the campaign and it's pretty short pretty sweet straight to the point and just good a lot of action i think they did a fairly good job of you know kind of giving you some backstory on the titanfall world which is good but it also kind of you know gets you kind of used to the controls and things like things like that if you've not played the game or not played the game for a while So that's good as well. And this wheel is just real, real janky. So it's going to take a little bit to get used to the wheel. But uh, kind of thinking about getting a Titanfall 1, or excuse me, Titanfall 2 campaign uh, single player playthrough up on the channel. Should only be a couple episodes. I think it took me maybe three, four hours thereabouts to get through the uh, campaign. So like I said, it's nice, it's short, it's to the point, a lot of fun, a lot of action. I think you guys would enjoy that. Uh, definitely recommend that game. If you know, you're out there, you're on the fence. I've not even played the multiplayer yet, but I just hear so many good things about the multiplayer. I mean, you know, some of the people that I play Battlefield with have, you know, said that they prefer Titanfall 2 over Battlefield 1. And, you know, that's saying something. 
you know, at least to me, that sounds so. It's just kind of unfortunate that uh, Titanfall 2 came out when it did. It got, you know, sandwiched between, you know, Battlefield 1 and that massive hype train and uh, the latest uh, Call of Duty release. So, it, I think it's definitely worth a look. You know, the first one kind of fell short. Wasn't a whole lot of content there, you know. Kind of, quote unquote, died off real quick. You know, shortly after the release, a lot of people just kind of wrote it off, which is unfortunate because it was still a good game. Still a lot of fun, just wasn't a lot of people playing it. And uh, the sales I've heard are kind of meh so far, but, uh, you know, I think it's definitely worth a look. If you have the opportunity to, you're able to, I would definitely check it out and uh, give it a look. But, uh, I, oh my gosh. I think this is a rest area up here. Up here on the right. I think I am going to stop in here if it is a rest area. Which it looks like it is. Yeah. Guys, I am sorry. I'm going to cut this one short today. I got to see what is going on with this track IR because that is, I, it's annoying to me and I can only imagine how annoying it is for you guys to see that thing bob back and forth like that. But, uh, I did want to get a quick video, bleh. I did want to get a quick video out today to let you guys know what's going on, uh, you know, why there's, you know, some changes here in the content for the, uh, you know, interim. You know, I'm going to be using an automatic transition, transmission and a uh, different wheel. So everything's gonna be a little bit different as far as that goes. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, track IR thing sorted out. Uh, we'll be back later this week and uh, we'll kind of make up for today's uh, cruddy episode. At least in my opinion, it was kind of a cruddy episode, you know, technical difficulties and all that stuff. I typically don't like to, you know, post content where I have uh, issues and stuff like that. I like for them to be nice and clean. That way you, you guys can enjoy them a little bit better. I can enjoy them. And, uh, you know, it's just better content all the way around. Guys, unfortunately, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, again, apologize for all the technical difficulties. Uh, we'll get everything sorted out, and uh, we'll get back on track here. Hopefully, in the next episode uh, later this week, have an update on the G27. Maybe it'll be positive. Uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But uh, if you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch and helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, uh, check out some of the other content on the channel and uh, consider subscribing. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here now. I'll do some more troubleshooting on some hardware. Until the next video, stay safe out there. Take care. And we'll be seeing you. That horn, though. <laughs>